I am here in the majestic United States of America at my dad's house. I've been back here for about a week. I don't know what I've done other than sleep and drink and eat so much food. Food. Oh my god. But I've got this pile of uni books sitting over there. It's time to start thinking about uni again. So I was thinking I could bring to you four tips for how to preserve your brain over the break. And then I've got one must do if you do nothing else. You got to do this one thing over the break. So first of all, while you're home preserving your brain, take the chance to catch up on sleep. Now sleep is extremely important. Um, most of your memories are really captured and processed while you sleep. And I know if you're anything like me, you were definitely sleep deprived by the end of last term. So don't be too hard on yourself if you haven't really done any work yet. Do take this time to sleep. At least that's good for you. Number two. Now, a big thing that you've got to do over the holidays is try to reduce your holiday anxiety. Now, I know for me, I haven't been home in a year, and so I was all anxious, going to see people I haven't seen in forever. You know, there's always that, like, weird feeling of going back home. Like, I haven't lived here in eight years, so you get a little anxious, a little bit stressed. Now try to do whatever you can to reduce that anxiety. Just remember that like there aren't going to be any major miracles or disasters. Just try to enjoy yourself. So if you can reduce that anxiety, that can actually spill over into your coursework and what you're able to remember. Number three. Okay, this one's super hard, but try to avoid distractions. I know for me, I can't do any work at home because my dog will just calm and play with me or my nephews will stop over so try to avoid those distractions as much as you can maybe find a new coffee shop or somewhere to go where if you're gonna do some work have somewhere that you go that signals to your brain that you're doing work and number four is repetition instead of really diving into new material just go back and reread old notes make yourself some study guides so you don't have to worry about that so much when it comes time for real revision in the spring if you can't handle any of those four tips of preserving your brain the one thing you've got to do over this break is create a plan for the rest of the time that you're on break break as well as for the beginning of the term. So I know for me I sat down and just went through the next few weeks of break, decided which days were going to be my work days, even if it's only like two hours. Just a little bit of time where I can slip in some work. And then I created a plan for January, uh, for what I've got to get done. I've got some essays due at the end of January. I'm sure you've got stuff to do as well. So just start to think about it. Create a plan. If you do nothing else, if you go absolutely nuts over the break, if you don't sleep at all, if you're stressed out, whatever, at least create a plan. But I really hope you enjoy yourself. It is the jolliest time of the year. So preserve that magical brain you've got and enjoy the holidays. I'll see you next time.